Alright, so this week I'm going to go head over to Northwest Harvest. I'm going to package some food, send that over to those who need it. I'm also going to go to Kent Hope. I'm going to serve and bring some food over there. I'm going to hang out with some ladies who uh, happen to be homeless, going to get to know their story and their lives. And then I'm going to go donate some blood, which I'm not the most excited for, but it should be interesting nonetheless. All right, so I'm about to head off to Northwest Harvest. I'm really excited. I'm not quite sure what to expect. I've never gone. I think there have been a few cute club stuff over there, but this will be my first time going. Um, from what I've heard, it's just we're about like packaging foods and boxing them, shipping them off to those in need. And it's down the street in Kent, so I can do this all the time. Um, it's really beneficial for the community. Um, it's something crucial. I didn't realize that so many people out there don't have the same privilege as I do. Um, pretty lucky, and this is just a small way I can help out. Caitlin, Hi. good work. <laughs> what are you doing today? I'm packaging carrots. Yeah? yeah. For Northwest Harvest? Yep. Community service. Why is this important? Because we're helping feed the community. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Super cool. Good job, Caitlin. So I'm back home from Northwest Harvest. It was a lot of fun. We went in. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing exactly. We, uh, a bunch of my friends and I, we got split up into different groups. I became a runner. Um, some other of my friends were uh, packaging. Some others were tying bags. And people were boxing as well. So I spent my whole time just running around, um, carrying the bags of carrots to the tying station which was tiring, but it, it wasn't that bad. It was okay. Um, overall, it was a good experience. I would definitely go back. Other than that, it's good. All right, so I'm getting ready to head over to Kent Hope now, which is basically like this sanctuary in the downtown Kent area for homeless women and children. Um, it's a place where they can go and sleep if they need to or just collect some clothes or basic feminine care that they just can't get on their own. They also provide meals, which is what I'm going for. I'm bringing over like three trays of brownies and some other goods that I'm sure they'll enjoy. Um, they just need help serving some food that other volunteers have brought, so I'm going in to do that as well. Um, all of that aside, I'm just supposed to get to know the ladies, hang out with them, just spend some quality time getting to know those people. and. I didn't even realize, it's crazy, uh, living in this Kent Covington area, I didn't even realize this place existed until recently. And it's great that people can go there if they need to and get the help that they need. So I'm happy to be part of that. So I just got back from Kent Hope. It was an amazing experience. Felt really good to give back to my community, uh, help out in ways I didn't know I could. Um, it was a lot larger than I thought it would be. When I walked in, they had a place for every, all the clothes, all the food. After I got done serving, I got to hang out with the girls over there. Um, a lot of older women were really interested in hearing about uh, what I'm doing after high school. Um, They're all super nice and I'm excited to go back. It was great. Okay, so I'm about to head over to the Bloodworks facility in Federal Way. Well, actually to my grandparents' house first because they live over there and I need a ride. But anyways, <laughs> that turned out nicer than I thought it would. Um, I'm kind of excited, I guess, but I'm a little bit scared because of what I've heard about how you feel after you donate the blood. Um, my friend passed out after hers, <clears throat> which spooked me a lot. But I'm going to go do it anyways. Um, it's important. And what's my few minutes of discomfort? How does that even compare to possibly saving a life, you know? So I'm going to go do that. And it should be interesting. I get some snacks afterwards, so...
All right, so I'm finally back at home, went through the whole donation. It went a lot better than I anticipated. Um, I was doing fine right, right up until the end, actually. I got really dizzy, like my whole world is spinning. <laughs> I was a little bit nauseated, but after I got some Gatorade and a few snacks in my system, I was fine. Um, the nurse that I was talking to, she was telling me about how these sometimes bad experiences scare off potential donors and they can't get like platelets and whole blood unless people donate it and it's really important and people need it. So for us, I mean, would I go again? Yes. Would it be my first choice? No. But it's something that we should all at least try once, give it a go. It's for the common good. We made it to the end! Okay, so in the beginning, looking outside in, I kind of thought that these would be really easy and they were, which is great because we never really think about how much these small things to us could mean the world to other people in need. Um, donating blood wasn't the most comfortable, um, personally, but I mean for other people that's probably, will probably go better. But I mean, I'd go again, like I said, Northwest Harvest was loads of fun. I, I'm totally open to doing that anytime. I met a lot of amazing people over there. Um, it's great to see the difference that you're making. They have a big sign for you afterwards telling you how many pounds you packaged and that was a wonderful experience. And Kent Hope, I've actually, when I went over there, I got really close to the women there and they were super excited. They wanted me back. so. I've actually set up a weekly thing where I'm going to be over there probably once or twice a week just to drop off some snacks or desserts or anything else they could possibly need. Um, yeah, so this whole experience has been great. Um, I've, it made me realize how important uh, things like this are.